I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neon Jacket, and welcome back to the channel. It has been a minute since we have actually had a Let's Play episode of any game, let alone a survival game. So, I want to welcome you all to Medieval Dynasty. Now, yes, this is a survival game. Um, it's It came out September 17th, 2020. That's when it was, like, officially released. And, it, honestly, this game has won me over wholeheartedly. I have definitely given it some time out of my life to play. Uh, you can build your own civilization. You're practically your own little, like, village lord type deal. I mean, you could say you're the king of your own town, but you're also kind of paying taxes to the king each year. Um, and that's another thing. You go by year cycles, and you're able to, as you build up your village, bring people from other villages around... Like, as you can see, there's one there, there's three over there, there's one over that way, one over there, and then two down there. Um, all of these villages have campfires that these little villagers that are, like, looking for a place to stay come up to. And they're all good at different stuff and different skills, as you can go here. You can go to, like, management, and all this would be here. Now, as you can see on the map, here's all of the the towns that we have. So see, there's the two here, there's all of these up here. Gustovia is like our main village that we'll be focused around. Um, but yeah, like it's, it's a pretty good sized map. It is quite large. Um, as you can see in the bottom left, we have our stamina, health, hunger, thirst. So we're going to have to take care of ourselves. As well as others once we have our own little, uh, oh, little geese, a gosling, and a goose, and a gander. <laughs> Look at all that. I got some cows too. And as you can see, there are children, so you're able to eventually find and marry uh, a, a woman around your age. It has to be around your age. I think the, the age limit is 10. You have to be 10 years apart, like no more than that. Alright, Unigost. Those eyes, I didn't think I would see them again. One blue in the s blue is the sky, and the other black is a lump of coal. <clears throat> are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. So you are in one. Good. For a second there, I thought I lost it. Haha. <laughs> but your eyes, you just look like him. Sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new to these parts. Just arrived in the valley, actually. My name is Rasimir. Wanda's son, aren't you? Lorden's nephew? How do you know my no my mother? No, not really. I knew her. Well, we didn't actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. I don't think I understand. You will. Wait, what do you mean by did? I know her. Is she well? I hope she is now, wherever that might be. I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it. This world. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones as young at such a young age. It's okay, they... They've died so I could live, and I plan to make the best of my life that I can in order, or in honor of their sacrifice. I can't read. There's a lot of reading in this game. That is one thing. It's very mature of you. I'm sure that they would be proud to hear that. 
we're just gonna keep going. There is a lot of uh, lore in this game, like quite a bit. Oh, as you can see here, if I hold down left alt, oh, I am playing on computer. This is on Xbox and I think PlayStation as well. Um, but if you hold down left alt or whatever button it is for console, you can see all these stats above their player's head. This does drain your stamina though. Um, and eventually when you have your own settlement and a empty house, you're able to take them and move them in there and then you can build up little working places and make them work there. Uh, Alright, so we have to craft a stone axe. I had already gathered some stone and sticks at the beginning, if you remember seeing that. So we have our stone axe. We're going to go to the inventory. Go over here. Alright, it's already on one. So I'm going to just bring that out. We're going to go hit some trees. Got to make a wooden hammer. And it wants us to cut five trees and get 32 straw. So we're just going to go ahead and chop down the five trees. Um... There are carry limits, and the carry limits in this game, honestly, uh, everything's heavy. You'll get weighed down real quick. Um, there are skills in the game as well. As you can see here, there's a whole skill tab, and you have skill trees. Uh, this is what we definitely need to be getting as soon as we can. Five kilogram increase in carry weight, and that's just the first level. That'll help us out a bunch in the future. Um... Up until we can start getting, like, our village set and get workers going and all that stuff. But we will have to worry about up here, as you can see, right here. This is all your little information tab right here for your village. So you have your reputation with the dynasty. That'll increase as we play once we're, like, doing missions. And every year there will be, a like, a jester-type dude who comes around from the king and he asks, you to do a mission most of the times the king asks for gold or a set amount of items this that and the other and that gives you more reputation as well um up here is our development stage as we grow our village that will get bigger taxes that increases due to how many buildings you have not how many people um as well as how much like stuff you're bringing in i'm pretty sure uh right here's a population as you can see we only have one that is ourselves and then food demand water demand and wood demand that is definitely something that we will have to focus on and make sure we have all that we need for our village once we get that building or once we get that started at least uh so let's go ahead and get this mission done there's the cut five trees so i'm gonna go ahead and just get some logs from this tree I'm going to just pick up three for now. We're going to run down here uh, to the riverbank and grab some straw. And now, this game is a lot more than just a survival, build your own village type deal, which that part right there is enough for me. I love that. Like, that's all I wanted. And it's medieval style. You can go out, you can hunt. It, this game is a lot of fun. I am really excited for what they have in their plans for 2023 i from what i have done my own research on uh, it seems like they're planning on adding like co-op multiplayer and that's really exciting this game would be a lot of fun being able to build your own village with a friend all right yes building i do already know how to do the whole building spiel i know most of what's going on um we're gonna go ahead and put that in number two so now we have our hammer Alright, so now it wants us to build our first house, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go northwest of here, and we're going to go off to a pretty decent build location that's relatively flat, and we're going to build there. Now, here, as you can see, there are, there's like a little, lot, this is just lost shipment on the side of the road. There will be, you know, little wheelbarrows that are knocked over and all that stuff. You can get quite a bit of loot from all of this so i highly suggest if you ever see anything off the side of the road run up to it and check it out because there, there could be some pretty valuable stuff like sometimes we'll have iron tools next to the uh the wheelbarrows which we should pass one going down this road we'll see um but yeah there are uh, there are also bandit camps every i don't really know their exact locations but 
there are some bandits in this game. There are some small camps, and then there's some large ones. The larger ones you really gotta be careful with, because you can really get ganked up on. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna continue going down northwest, following this trail, up until we get to the area we're looking for. Now, up here is not a bad area to start. We could do it here. That leads straight down the mountains. Let's open up the map. We do want to be relatively in the center of everything. Um, in my own personal playthrough, I built right here. And that, that did very well. But I did run into an issue once we got to around here and I was having to fit things a little janky. But it's a very flat area. So we could build over here. Because I do want to be as close to all of the main areas as possible. And this is dead center. So what we might do is we'll go in here a little bit. And we could just go at it from here. Or we could run down this way a tiny bit farther. And get to the super flat area and just build back. Which is, I think is what we might do. And as you can see. There are some, some badgers. There are boars in this area as well. Um, that is one thing you will have to look out for if you do plan on building here. Uh, other than that, there's nothing that you have to worry about. Uh, there's a camp up there. I'm not entirely sure if it's a bandit camp or if it's an abandoned camp. We're going to hope for the latter. There's a boar. That's no good. We're going to crouch. Alright, but as you can see, there's a little basket here. We can sell that for some cash. Ooh, that's really good. We already got some fabric. That is also good for selling. Um, and sometimes you can find weapons here as well, like bows and spears. It seems like as of now, I saw a bucket over there. We'll have to grab that. Haha, a bow. Recurve bow, that's perfect. We can do a little hunting. Is that already equipped? No. What we'll do is we'll throw that on, and we'll go ahead and try and kill this boar, because why not? Where did he go? There he is. We have to equip the arrows first, that would make sense. Alright, we only got three, so let's make them count. And boars do get aggressive, too. Haha. -ha. Now, we don't have a knife, but that is not a worry, because we can make one real quick. I know it's not our mission to uh, hunt or make a knife yet, but we'll just make another one when that comes along. Alright, let's go ahead and skin this bad boy. Get ourselves some meat, and it should be fur. Nah, leather. That's even better. And look at that, we can already make a hunting lodge, so that will help us get food for our village. Ooh, alright. Got some clothes, got some wine, and some salted fish meat, and uncooked fish meat. Or something else to- ooh, and an iron axe. This is a really good find this early in the game. I am very happy we stopped up here. This will help us out in building our, our house. Go ahead and grab that torch, too. Oh, wow. All the tree seeds are relatively expensive, and as you can see, we are heavy. Um, that is a no... That is not good. We can drop this. And... I'm gonna drop the knife for now. I don't know if I want to drop our stone axe yet. What are we at? 46 out of 35. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep that for now. Um, we will need around 10 stone. I really don't want to drop much. Is that going to raise our temperature too high? This is our temperature right here. So our temperature tolerance. As you can see down here, all of the stats are here. We have poisoning, so you can get that from, you know, eating some bad berries that are unripened, or you can get that from eating raw, or bad food, raw food, uh, as well as drinking alcohol. 
and that's your intoxication level for drinking alcohol because you can get drunk. Dirtiness level, sometimes if you're too dirty, people will refuse to talk to you or give you any service, so you'll have to uh, run yourself into the water or build a bath and then clean yourself off. Heat protection, cold protection, that seems all relatively self-explanatory, I would hope. And we're going to uh, drop some crap because I am tired of being weighed down. Crafting. Hot plant seedling. That is ridiculous, the weight of that. But I don't want to drop it because it is also ridiculously priced. Uh, hmm. Well, looks like I'm going to just drop the logs. Just so, or just up until I can get everything set, you know. We just gotta get, that's a moose, I thought that was a, a funky looking boar. Alright. We're going to run over here. This is the road down here, and as you can see, this is a really, very, very flat area, and you can go pretty much all the way back. Um, and it just gets flatter over there, too. So, it's a win-win, for us, at least. We're going to go ahead and start building the path. We're just going to build it right off of this path here. We're just going to go back a little bit. So, I'm going to line it up to where it's green let's see ah, did I connect it? yeah I did, alright sweet now we're just gonna run this back here a little bit just to have our first road started so this will be our primary entrance into our village from the main road we're gonna go into buildings and go ahead and start building ourselves a small house bam now we need 8 more stone and that will get us that first part done. And bam. Alright, so now the next up, we need eight logs. Wonderful. So let's get to chopping some trees down, getting some logs, and getting this thing built. Alright, so now we have our frame all set up. And we're able to see all of these right here, all of our walls and our roof. Now, our roof, I am not going to change to anything, because we would need planks to make it a wooden roof. So I'm going to leave that thatch. But everything else, I'm going to go ahead and change to wood. Just due to the fact that it's going to be our house, we want it to be nice. And whenever we move out of the house, it this helps with insulation. It'll make our villagers feel more comfortable. It'll make ourselves feel more comfortable. So we're just going to go ahead and change it to wood. Plus, we want our village to look nice, you know, we, plus I also don't want to uh, gather a whole bunch of sticks, and logs are a lot easier to grab. We did get a few levels in a couple things, we got one in hunting, or one in survival, so that's gathering stuff and all that, and then one in extraction, so we're gonna go ahead and spin some of these. Now, the first three that we have unlocked is force of nature, treasure hunter, and extraction knowledge. This just makes it to where we gain more XP the more stuff we do, and this will help us level up quicker. Force of nature... Durability, loss of axe, you know, that's nice, but we're going to go ahead and go with the extraction knowledge just so we can level up quicker. And same goes for the survival knowledge, but the second one is basically making us to where we can, you know, deal with colder and hotter temperatures better, as well as iron leather, which makes it to where poison doesn't affect us as much. Now, our technology page... This shows us all of the buildings that we can and eventually will be able to use and learn and help us, like, be able to build, make it to where we can help our own village with all of this stuff. Up here is the points. You get that from just doing the regular stuff. So for hunting, we would get points by killing animals like we did earlier. We got 8.1 points from shooting that boar. Then farming, that'll soon, that'll soon, be soon. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, workshop, all this stuff will help us out, and we'll get more in depth in that once we actually get to building those ha like places and actually get to using them. So I'll cut back once we have this thing all built up and ready to live in.
All right, and the final touch. Bam. All right, chapters, buildings, one out of one, blah, 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 blah. New beginning. If we go to management, we can actually see we have one out of six buildings. I have raised our uh, amount of buildings we can have just by 20%, just so we can have a little more leeway on what we want to build just to have a nicer town so we can have a little more fun with that. Now that we actually have more stuff, 50% more resources from destroying structures. I don't really care about that because we're not going to be destroying our buildings anytime soon. Uh, let's see here. I think what we're going to do is go with force of nature on one and then we're going to go with one with earth on the other and that unlocked our next three so now we can start putting points into mule that is good we're gonna go over here to our crafting knowledge we're just gonna immediately throw it into increasing more experience because that's what we want all right we have our house now so what we're gonna do is we're going to dump all of this crap because we are still quite heavy so we're gonna throw that in there we're going to throw all of that in there we're gonna throw the bucket uh, all the seeds We'll keep our dry meat. We're going to put all the feathers in there for now. All the hoplings, yes, because those are heavy. Keep that. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Yeah, just throw it all. That as well. We'll keep our torch. Throw the basket. Keep the sticks and the straw. Alright. There we go. Now we're good. As you can see, we did get a little dirty. Ooh, another chapter. Um, we have gotten dirty. We were also surrounded by tree stumps just from this one building. Uh, thankfully, I did build a shovel. And all that takes is just one little, you know, dig and the, they're gone. So that's, that's not in to worry about. Um, it does give us logs as well, so that's a win-win. We're going to run down to the water and grab ourselves something to drink as well as rinse ourselves off because we're filthy. Um, there you go. As you could see down in the bottom left, that little dirt bar went away as I went into the water. And to drink, we're just going to walk right up and drink. There we go. We're no longer thirsty. Now, we still need some more crap before we can really call this a village obviously because you know one house just is not going to do it so we're going to go into our building and we have this whole spin wheel so here's houses that's nothing but homes there's just three of those extraction we did unlock the uh the woodshed right here um while we were cutting down trees so that's good the well is definitely what we're going to have to build first though um i'm not entirely sure how i want this setup to go when it comes to our town, I might just have, you know, like this little square right here be, we'll just make it a square area right here and have it to where this will be like the, the living area. And then around we'll have all the workshops and all that stuff, maybe, um, not entirely sure. We'll just, we'll just go with it. Um, we're going to try and continue this path. We're going to go back a tiny bit before kind of curving in, and then we're going to just run it all the way over here, and then take this down a bit. Actually, we're just going to take this out just a tiny bit farther, because I want there to be enough room in the middle for more houses and such like that. I'm just going to weave through the trees here. Get rid of all of that crap in between. And then we're just going to cut straight across. I know this is definitely not at all even, and that bothers me as well. Um, but it's, the, it's just what we're going to have to deal with for now. Let's go ahead, go back to building, go to production, and let's get this well shed placed. We're just going to place it right in the middle-ish. Uh, I don't really like that placement. gonna destroy that production no wrong thing oops I am pressing no stop it man all right extraction there we go 
I got it this time. We're going to move it over to the right a tiny bit. That's better. All right. We just need one more piece of wood for that. I'm going to just run up to a stump and dig that up. I want to get this built before we turn into day two. Now, how the seasons work, each day is about 20-ish minutes, give or take, maybe half an hour. Um, and there's three days per season. So, yeah. that that That's pretty much how that goes. Four seasons, just like we deal with in real life. You know, spring, summer, autumn, and then winter. So, same old, same old. Nothing new. Let's see. Oh, we unlocked the next level of a house. Are there any stumps up here? No? Surprisingly enough. There's a stump. I just need one more piece of wood, and then I'm sure we'll need some straw for the ceiling. Which we might have to make a little trip down there for. That's quite alright. Bam. And yeah, we need 16 straw and 2 logs. Let's go ahead and get the straw first. And then we can dig up some logs before we run back and build it. Now, as you can tell, this is quite a nice area to uh, plant your base at because you're right next to all of the main essentials. Uh, there is a mine not too far down the road as well. There's also oh poison. That's uh, that's nice. Um, I don't know. Hen bane potion of strength. Jeez. All right. It must have been like a potion salesman cart or whatever. I'll take it. Those are the type of carts that I'm talking about, though. Those carts are rather nice to find, because most of the stuff that you find on it are quite pricey, and you can sell them for a good penny at the local tavern, or anyone. I Normally, I sell... Uh, we'll get into the market once we actually have our workshop built, and we'll... I'll show you guys how to work the system. This is not where I wanted... No, it's dark. I'm sure my character is exhausted, but we are a little preoccupied starting our village. And our character's name... So, as you saw in the beginning, there was an intro scene to this game. Um, our character's name is Rasimir. And as you could see in the intro, he, you know, went through war. He used to have a happy life. Sleep to the next day. Um... And now we're just out here trying to make our own. So we will eventually have a wife. We'll eventually have our own children. We'll have our own village and workers to uh, boss around and help around the village. And make our village stronger than all of the other ones around us. Sadly, we'll never get a title for our village. But we'll know we're better than them. And that's all that matters. Alright, so as you can see, we do have our very first little extraction building we would need a person to put here to work and then we would have to supply them water skins or buckets um we're not going to do all of that in this episode what i think we'll do is we will lay out the next house we will go ahead and plot this down i'm gonna put it a little farther back just so they can have a little area in front maybe eventually we can make it a little nicer for them um, but yeah, so we'll have that there. We're gonna go ahead and, let's see, production, no, what am I looking for? Is it extraction? Yes, the woodshed. This. We could put the houses on the outside and the work in the middle. That would work too. I think that's what we might do, just to have a nice little... Yeah, we could even push houses behind as well. So that, that'll that do it. And then the farmland can be over in the flat areas, and we'll have it set. So right here we'll have our work shed for gathering wood. We have our well. The next thing we need is in hunting and our hunting lodge. Now this I'm going to put back over here. I'm going to just plop this down. Give it, push it back a little like we did the other one. We'll end up cutting that off just to make a little area there for them. Um, 
and that will be our little farmer's, or not our farmer, our hunter's shack. We will definitely need to put more houses. These small houses can fit two people, one male, one female. It doesn't matter their age, but if they are within ten years apart, they will eventually get married and pregnant and have babies for our far or for our village. Just more workers for us. Um, so yeah, I think we are going to end this episode off here. Please let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. It is a very detailed game for how long it's been out, and I'm excited to see how far it goes and how far it'll come, because I, I only see this game going up from here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. And remember, shine bright, neon bright.